to my channel. If you guys haven't noticed, the background is totally different. Um, that's because I'm at my new beauty room slash office, whatever you want to call this room, but it's my woman cave. If you guys follow me on my Instagram or my Snapchat, um, you guys probably know that I've moved to my new apartment. It's not all done yet. Um, I know a lot of you guys were asking for a beauty... I know a lot of you guys were asking for a... I know that a lot of you guys were... A lot of you guys were asking for a beauty room tour, a makeup collection, and apartment tour. Nothing's done yet, especially like my beauty room. There's still some stuff that I want to do to decorate and organize a little better. After everything is a little bit more put together and you know, maybe towards the completion of my decor, then maybe I'll do like a tour. Not a complete tour, but maybe like I can do my beauty room. So yeah, that is why I have an MIA on YouTube. Not so like the other times. <laughs> so that's pretty much my mini update. If you guys would like to keep up with my life and what I do on a regular day basis, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and add me on Snapchat. I'm on Instagram and Snapchat every single day. I update you guys every single time. I try to reply to every single one of you. I'm pretty good at it actually. As I always mention in all of my videos, all of the products will be listed down below, including the links and the coupon codes. So definitely check it out. So thank you all so much. I really cannot say that enough because you guys just send me constant love and support and that's what keeps me going and motivated and it's just, it just means so much to me. Don't forget to keep requesting what you guys would like to see next. And we're gonna move on to the video now. Hey guys, I know it's a little blurry right now, but don't worry, it'll get better really soon. I've already applied my Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer, and for my foundation, I'll be mixing my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation with my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. The main reason why I'm mixing these two today is mainly for the color, but after applying them and wearing it for the day, I really like the satin finish with the perfect amount of luminous glow it gave me. Ain't no one but you and I gonna make it happen So live your life cause it ain't all about the paper stacking After applying the NARS foundation pretty much all over my face, I'm going to go with my Marc Jacobs foundation, put a little bit on the back of my hand, and apply it on the outer part of my face just to add a little bit more definition and for color matching. This part is optional, but I'm going to apply my Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer on the areas I want more coverage and to brighten. I say it's temporary, but I may be lying. You got to get up in the night, you hear that baby crying, and get that dough to pay for all To set everything, I'm using my Cover FX Mineral Powder on the main areas, except for the areas I want to brighten because I'm going to lightly set it with a loose translucent powder and let it bake. This is a whole new tutorial, so if you guys would like a separate tutorial on how to cook your face, please let me know in the comments down below. You gotta move forward, it's do or die Ain't no one but you and I gonna make it happen So live your life cause it ain't all about the paper stacking My motto after priming my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I'm going to fill in my brows using the Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde and Brow Wiz in Medium Ash. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to start with the color Brilliance from the Stila palette, applying it underneath my brows and also on the inner corner. It's instrumental that you put this in your mental Nothing should affect you if it don't directly disrespect you Using my Anastasia Shadow Couture palette, I'm using the color Soft Peach as a subtle transition color right on the area where you can feel the eye socket and the brow bone. If you have a thicker lid space, feel free to blend it on the crease line. 
Next, using the same brush, I'm going to apply my second transition color, Morocco, to give more warmth to the look. Follow your dreams and aim high full throttle. You gotta move forward and do a die. Hey, no one but you and I gonna make it happen. So live your life cause it ain't all about the paper stacking. My motto, follow your dreams and aim high. Now for the crease, I'm using the color cognac, also by Anastasia, and applying it where your eye sockets are. Try not to blend it out with this brush as you will only intensify the area that you don't want. Again, this is a half cut crease, so we're not going all the way in, just the outer half. To blend it out, I'm just using the same brush I used earlier for my transition color. Using the same pencil brush, I'm also going to apply it on the bottom lash line. Here, I'm just dusting off the loose powder that's on my face with the same brush that I used to set my foundation. And this part is kind of accidental because I started to apply my eyeliner before I did the most important part. And I start to realize that right here. <laughs> For the lid, I'm using Peach Sorbet from Anastasia and I'm spraying it with a makeup setting spray and applying it directly to my lid. Then I wanted to deepen it up some more, so I'm using the color Fudge with the same pencil brush and intensifying just the outer corner. Now with the eyeliner, I'm using Ico Skinny Liquid Liner for that deep black wing liner. I usually like to extend my lining out a bit to make my eyes look bigger. I'm gonna make it happen So live your life cause it ain't all about the paper stacking People are quick to point a finger and judge Like they love you Now for my favorite part, I'm using Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes I'm also using their glue for fast drying and invisible bands For bottom lashes, I'm using Coco Lashes number 302 Also using the House of Lashes glue that you put this in your mental, Nothing should affect you if it don't directly disrespect you if your girl didn't text you. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. Moving on to the face, I'm first going to contour by using Too Faced Bronzer in Medium Deep. Like I always mention, this part is optional, but I'm contouring my nose using the color Fawn from the Contour Kit. For blush, I'm using my recent favorite blush from 3 Concept Eyes in Wendy. For the moment of truth, I'm using Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. And finally for my lips, I'm using Anastasia's liquid lipstick in Seraphine. You can use your lip liner if you want to or if you're nervous about the perfect lines, but I normally don't like to apply lip liner with liquid lipsticks, so I just be really careful when applying them. Alright, so this is a completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please tag me on Instagram or anywhere else if you recreate this look. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on what other looks you guys would like to see next. Thank you so much. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye!